Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel to be like Christ. In today's video we're going to talk about how to make the decision between best and better. Let's read a couple verses for our study. Mark chapter 1 verse 35 through 39. And rising very early in the morning while it was still dark, he, that's Jesus, departed and went out to a desolate place and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him and they found him and said to him, everyone is looking for you. And he said to them, let us go on to the next towns that I may preach there also, for that is why I came out. And he went throughout all Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. So in our text, Jesus goes away to pray by himself really early in the morning. Now keep in mind that this is in the context of Jesus has just spent an entire day healing the sick and casting out demons and preaching. He's been busy and he gets up early in the morning to pray. And while he's out there, Peter and some others are hunting him down. And when they finally find him, they say to him, hey, come on, Jesus, everybody in the city is looking for you. Let's go talk to them. Let's go help them. Now, if this was me and somebody came to me and said, oh, the whole town's out looking for you, I'd be thinking, ha ha ha, you know, I'm pretty popular. Let's go meet my fans. But Jesus doesn't respond that way. Jesus' response is, all right, apostles, gather up all your stuff because we're going to the next town. Even though all these people are waiting to see me here, we got to go to the next town because we got to preach. And that's the reason that I am here, is to preach the message of the gospel to the world. Jesus knew exactly why he was on the planet, and he had a very singular focus for accomplishing his mission. And notice that when he leaves town, he doesn't leave town because he's trying to run away from sin or, or from temptation. Uh, he's not leaving town trying to run away from greed or pride or having an affair or something like that. In fact, remember what he's been doing. He's been preaching and casting out demons and being good to people. What's really interesting about this situation is that there were still sick people in that town. There were probably still demon-possessed people in that town, and that's what Jesus was saying no to. Jesus was saying, look, there's always going to be more sick people. There's always going to be more needy people than anyone can ever handle, but I've got to stay focused on my mission and why I'm here. Mark then tells us that Jesus left and he went to preach the gospel in synagogues around the Galilee area. And while we're considering this situation, let me ask you a question. Why are you on this planet? What is your purpose for being here? And let's be careful before we answer that, because if we're not careful, we might be tempted to say something like, the reason that I'm here, my real purpose is to be the best businessman that I can be, or to be the best athlete, maybe the best softball player that I can be, or maybe to be the best public school teacher that I can be and influence the children that come into my classroom. Or maybe I'm on this earth to be the best mom that I can be to my children, or to be the best father, or to be the best grandmother or grandfather. Or so that I can be someone who brings my family together so that we can have great Christmas meals and great Thanksgiving meals together because family is what it's really all about. My purpose is to build a future for my children, to give them more opportunities and a better life than I ever had. As we think about some of those potential answers that people could give, all those things have value, don't they? None of those things are wrong. Certainly none of those things are sinful. But what we find as we examine the pages of the Bible and the will of God laid out for us is that none of those things are a Christian's primary purpose. The bigger picture that all Christians need to see is really the same that Christ saw here in Mark chapter 1, and that is the advancement of the gospel is the main reason that we're here. The advancement of the gospel for the salvation of souls through Jesus Christ for the glory of God. And Jesus leaves us a great example here that shows us that for Christians, that purpose many times isn't going to be challenged by the options of good and evil, but rather by the options of good and better, or better and best. Here's a situation where Jesus could have very easily gone and, and made some more visits, or gone and cast out some more demons, or gone and healed some more sick people, but that wasn't his primary purpose. Those things were not, first and foremost, what Jesus had come to do, and we have to keep that in mind mind as well if our goal is to advance the gospel. Regardless of our age, regardless of our circumstances, regardless of our careers, we need Christians with this single purpose. Christians who are focused on not filling their lives all the time with the good and the better, but they're interested in the best. And that may mean that we need to sacrifice a little bit as Christians to keep that single, singular purpose in mind. Maybe we have a hobby that we'd love to do, or, or maybe an activity, a sport. Maybe we have a uh, career path that we'd like to take in the future, and we look at those things, and, and they're good things, right? There's nothing, there's nothing immoral about any of those things. Um, but maybe they interfere with our singular purpose or take up a lot of time that could be devoted to our singular best purpose of advancing the gospel. And don't get me wrong, Christians who are devoted to the advancement of the gospel will be good 
businessmen and we'll be good accountants and we'll be good teachers and we'll be good mothers and fathers and grandparents. The realization that they're always going to have though is that those things are secondary to the primary purpose that Jesus lays out for us so clearly here in Mark chapter 1 verse 35 through 39 and the main purpose is to help as many people as we can to miss hell and to make it to heaven. Hi everybody and thanks for watching to be like Christ. I hope you've enjoyed this content and if you have not subscribed to the channel already please do that. Like the video, uh, comment down below, share it if it's been beneficial to you and we'll see you next time.